uh, for the love of money. And what I'm talking about is I'm talking about money. I'm talking about uh, what God says uh, about money and also talking about the, uh, the spiritual and practical uh, things involving money. All right, we're going to get right into it. Because it's time to prepare, prepare, to prepare. The time is near, the time is near. Aftermath of the storm, I come to bring the alarm. Food shortage at hand, plus the gun ban. Tyranny in office, how do we off this spiritual warfare? Food stuff and dead, we caught not working, they don't play fair. Power outage up north, don't forget Katrina. But days they didn't even lift a finger. You still got your money in the bank, what the you think? Uh, today's episode, I'll be uh, going more into uh, the scripture, uh, talking about, you know, everybody talking about the for love of money uh, scripture uh, that's found in, in 1 Timothy 6 and 10. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to run through that first. It says, uh, 1 Timothy 6 and 10, uh, King James Version, it says, uh, for the love of money uh, is the root of all evil. Right, uh, which while some covered it after that, they have erred from the faith and pierced uh, themselves through with many sorrows. Okay, so I'm gonna break down the first thing. Uh, most of them say, well, money is bad, money is bad. You know, uh, money is bad. You know, but the Bible says that for the love of money, right? You know, the first commandment is love God with all your heart, all your soul, you know, everything, right? That's the first commandment. You know, we can only love God, right? We can't love money. We can't love both. You know, we can, we have to pick one, right? So for the love of money is the root of all evil. Like like some songs say, well, you know, for the love of money, uh, this person will uh, kill their brother. For the love of money, you know, people are steal from their brother. You know, you done heard the song. People steal from their sister, people steal from their job. You know, for for the love of money, uh, a man will sell his soul. You know, uh, as we see, you know, we'll see uh, women uh, that prostitute their body uh, on the street uh, for for money. You know, we'll, we'll see that people uh, will, will rob somebody with gunpoint uh, for this thing called money, uh, or for the love of the money, right? So, 1 Timothy 16, it says, uh, for the love of money uh, is the root of our evil. So, some of the stuff that we do in life, uh, just just loving it too much, you know, make us do strange things, you know. And, and you know, they say that, that women, when one first meets you, you know, they look at your shoes, you know, probably, of course, they look at your face and your body, but they also look at your shoes, okay? Well, he got Ferragamo shoes on. You know, he got Nike Air Max, the, the 200 plus dollar Air Max on, you know, maybe he has some money, you know, so they kind of kind of sizing it up. Let me size him up and see, you know, what he working with. Maybe he not that cute, but the shoes cute. I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff out there. But we talking about uh, for the love of money is the root of our evil. It, it, you know, it may possibly all of us in our life uh, have kind of bend the rules just a little bit right to either make more money you know or or to take more money or however you want to get more money you know you know so some people you know put different things on their taxes you know some people do stuff to just stay alive you know so you know a lot of us have have been like the rules right and and it had caused us uh to do some some evil things right so you know lying is evil you know, just being a bad person uh, is evil in general. So, uh, for the love of money uh, is the root to all evil. So, so if, if if money was out the equation, you know, some people would possibly be just a better person uh, if we wasn't set on this monetary system. Some of us possibly uh, would just be better people, you know. So, let's explore more. Let's look at part B of that verse. It says, uh, which... While some coveted after, they have erred from the faith. We're going to stop right there. So many of us, you know, uh, we, we pray to God, we play the lottery, whatever we do, 
or to think that that we're gonna obtain this money, right? If we look at scripture and say, um, which while some coveted after, they have error from the faith. Sometimes all the stuff that we do, and, and possibly if we did win the lottery and won a, a million dollars, maybe we wouldn't even talk to nobody. Maybe we wouldn't even go to church. You know, the Bible tells us right here uh, that they have error uh, from the faith. You know, sometimes we get money, you know, a person say, what you want? What you want? You call me, I just got paid, you know, what do you want? I ain't getting no money of this. I don't have no money, you know. You know, <laughs> money, I would talk that money is an entity. Money takes on its own form. Like, money is like a whole nother person, like the person that uh, you would be uh, without it is totally, possibly totally different from the person that you would be uh, with it. For some people, some people, you know, money give you a sense of entitlement. You know, sometimes we, you know, we act arrogant. Sometimes we act like we just above, like everybody else. You know, maybe I'm worth a million dollars. You know, do I treat you like crap? Do I look at you different? You know, uh, do do I look down on you? You know, so uh, we, you know, as as uh, First Timothy six ten say in the part B of the verse, it say uh, that which while some coveted after uh, they have error from the faith. You know, what what did it profit a profit of man to gain the world? Right, all these worldly possessions. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, lose his soul. Okay, let's go a little farther and say, and pierce uh, themselves through uh, with many sorrow. How many of y'all know that, you know, it's a small percentage of people, you know, they say they won a lottery, it's a very small percentage of people who who keep or retain their money. You know, one or two years, it's gone. Like, it was like they never even won the, the lotto, you know? And, 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 and the end part of verse it says, and pierce uh, themselves uh, through uh, with many sorrows. So this money, you know, now I would rather have money than not, but that's if you're able to manage it or the type of person that you are. Are you a given person now? You know, money is an amplifier. You know, you possibly be a, a, a better uh, given person. At the end of my life, I want to be known as a philanthropist. I want to be known that you spend my last days uh, I, I turn on my computer or I look at my phone and they say, well, it's been a fire in some apartment. It's 10 people with, that's been displaced. I want to make the call say, look, here's 20,000 or whatever the amount is uh, to each person, you know, so they can they can know uh, that God is and God is a reward of them who visit the seeking. I want them to know that God is after the making the beginning and the end. I want to know that God is uh, the first and the last. You know, I want them to be able uh, to know that, right? So I want to end my life being a philanthropist. Uh, in the last part of verse, it said, and pierce uh, themselves uh, through with many sorrows. Like, you know, how many of y'all know, like, uh, you know, some people out here gamblers, you know? I grew up in a gambling family. Uh, and as a, as a teenager, I was a gambler. I shot dice and... You know, and I didn't win that often. I just did it to just cap because I had money. I just like shoot dice and you know, and I was just in a different lifestyle, right? So uh, when we talking about um, and pierce themselves through uh, with many sorrows, like, you know, money, you know, man, you act, you act, some people act a fool, you know, and I'm not calling nobody a fool. I'm just saying what they act. You know, some people act a fool uh, when they they get this thing called money or they get this thing called riches, you know. So so just imagine, you know, if you won the lottery today uh, and then you broke tomorrow, right? Or a better example would be uh, we in the pandemic, you know, and it's people that possibly lost their job and some people committed suicide, right? They committed suicide because they couldn't handle uh, not having are the things that they normally have or having the privileges uh, that they, they used to have. So uh, we, we're talking about uh, for the love of money, you know? So uh, for the love of money is the root uh, to our evil. So uh, as, as we continue this series, I wanna explore uh, these thoughts, these talking board points. 
you know, um, are you dealing with uh, love and money? You know, are you dealing with, with situations that, that I'm talking about? You know, can you live without it? Would you love your husband? Or would you love your wife if you had it or didn't have it? You know, these are thought process that we need to run through our, our head, you know? Some people like me uh, because I guess I'm rich or I guess I appear to be rich or I guess I look rich or what, however they want to define who I am, I'm just the LS Jr. I don't claim to have this or have that, right? But, you know, people put me in certain categories, you know, and poss I possibly get certain privileges, right? Or I get certain things, you know, just, just because how I present myself, right? The Bible also teaches that a poor man wisdom is despised. You know, if a person appears to look poor, uh, don't we judge that person? You know, if somebody walked up to you and say, loan me $10 and they was looking like a bomb, uh, would you loan them that $10? Probably not. But, but what if somebody came up to you that had a nice suit and tie, smelling good, you know, a diamond bracelet, nice watch, and they say, hey, uh, young brother, or hey, uh, young sister, uh, can I borrow $10? I need to take care of something right quick, and I'll give it right back to you. You know, some of us may will, will break our back. Oh, yeah, yeah, get it. You know, especially, you know, if they pull up in a Mercedes or something like that. Okay, okay, I got it. Let me... I don't have it, let me go borrow it, I'll bring it back to you. They, we'll figure out how to come up with it, you know, and, and uh, you know, should we be like that? You know, uh, this is some of the stuff that I want to answer uh, in the series. This is the first uh, episode of the series, and we, we're talking about for the love of money. For the love of money. I'm going to read this again, and I'm going to kind of switch gears, and, and we're going to talk about uh, what money is. Okay, uh, 1 Timothy 16 say, For the love of money is the root of all evil, uh, which while some are coveted after they have error from the faith and pierce uh, themselves through with many sorrows. Okay, now I want to switch gears and I want to actually, uh, according to Investopedia, I want to give you what they say that uh, the definition of money is. What is money? Do we even know what money is? Right? Do we even know? So we want to get educated on uh, what what people say that money is. Okay? So what is money? Money is an economic unit that functions as a generally uh, recognized medium of exchange uh, for transaction purpose in an economy. Money provides the service of reducing transaction costs, uh, namely the double constants of wants. Money originated in uh, the form of commodities, having a physical property to be uh, adopted by markets uh, participants as a medium of exchange. Money can be uh, market determined, officially issued tender or fiat money and, and substitutes and fiduciary medium and electronic cryptocurrency, okay? So what is cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is, is a, a, a electronic uh, currency uh, that is changed between, uh, you know, uh, American and foreign uh, markets. And it, it's, it's uh, became popular uh, years ago. All right. I, I want to look at the word fiat money. Okay. We're going to go to fiat money. What What is fiat money? Have you ever heard the term fiat? What is fiat money? We're not talking about the car, okay? So what is fiat money? Fiat money is a government uh, issued currency uh, that is not bagged by a phys physical commodity uh, such as gold or silver. It is derived from the relationship between uh, supply and demand and the stability of issuing governments, okay? Rather uh, than the worth of a commodity uh, back, it is uh, the case for commodity money. Most modern paper currencies or fiat currency included uh, the U.S. dollar, the euro, and other major uh, global currencies. So, what we talking about? Since we talking about money, we we talking about this. This right here, this hundred dollar bill, 
it's not bagged by anything, okay? This, 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 this is not bagged by anything. It's not, it, money used to be bagged by a commodity, bagged by gold, bagged by potatoes, bagged by corn, whatever the commodity was. This right here, really what they're telling you, this right here is a, a note. This is like really a debt, right? It's really not even worth nothing. You know, it's, you, okay? So, but as I break down money, I wanna let you know that, that money uh, in itself, by itself, it doesn't have uh, any value, right? As far as uh, in a sense of a crisis, just say if it was a crisis, uh, I'm hungry. I have a hundred dollars, but I can't leave my house. I can't get to the store. I can't do nothing. So what is it really worth? Can I eat this to survive? I cannot. If I had a million dollars and I threw the million dollars on the ground on a lot, just say I purchased the lot and I want to build a million dollar house and I take this, I take this and I throw it on the lot and I say million dollars, build me a house, right? What's going to happen? Nothing. The money is just going to blow away. So we have to acknowledge uh, that it's the people uh, that builds the house. It's the people. Well, every time you pass by a site, do you see money there? You don't see this. You don't see this fiat currency there. What you do, you see uh, men and women, you know, hitting with a hammer, nail, a screwdriver, whatever it takes, uh, you know, pouring con concrete, uh, bringing in materials. You know, you actually see the physical per person. So uh, we are the commodities, okay? We are the commodities. Okay, so uh, the takeaway from the fiat currency is uh, fiat money is a government issued currency uh, that is not backed by a commodity uh, such as gold. Okay, this is it's not really worth nothing. I can't, it ain't backed by gold. It used to be. Okay, fiat money gives central banks uh, greater control over the economy uh, because they control how much money uh, is printed. Right, so you know, we see. You know, the stimulus package, you know, all of a sudden there wasn't no money, right? We wasn't, people weren't getting money. People didn't get a stimulus. Allegedly, it wasn't no money, right? So they said, well, we waited. We're going to pass uh, this bill. You know, we're going to call it a stimulus package. And guess what? We're going to print some money. We're going to we're gonna print some of this. We're just going to print enough and we're going to give every family you know, 1,400 a piece, 1,000 a piece, whatever the number is. And, you know, we're gonna get the companies all this money uh, that, that we came up with, right? Cause it's not bagged by gold. We don't have enough gold to just give everybody something, right? So if we look here, it says fiat money gives central banks uh, greater control over the economy. So our list is controlling uh, the economy. He who prints the money uh, can control the money. Because just say, just say if I'm a billionaire, right? Where do I go? Where can I keep a billion dollars somewhere? I would have to come to these guys. If I needed paper money, I would tell them to print me some or give me some money ready, you know, or, or something like that, right? So, so uh, if, if if we think of that of money in that sense, you know, we know that money it has little to no uh, value. Okay, so we, we're talking about uh, for the love of money, right? We want we want to educate each other, you know. Again, fiat money gives central banks greater control over the economy uh, because they can control how how the money is printed. So if I'm a billionaire, they could be a trillionaire, a zillionaire because they all they have to do is print more money than me, and and I don't have a billion dollars anyway. I got to go get it from them. Or they gonna put it on a card, you know? Say, well, you can use it on your card, you know. You can use it until we stop your card, you know. How many y'all was in New York? How many y'all was in Texas? How many y'all been in a national disaster when if the lights go off, how are you gonna use your card? Have you thought about that? How are you gonna use the card? We need to have some tangible uh, investments uh, that we can put our hands on. Because guess what? In a, in a crisis, even like what we in right now, uh, you know, this right here, 
this is not going to feed us. We cannot eat this. So we need to stock up on some water. We need to stock up on some non-perishable items. We need to grow some food. We need to do uh, certain things uh, to be able to survive uh, out here uh, in the world. So, you know, we're talking about for the love of money. Do you even know what money is? You know, I touched on a few uh, topics uh, today uh, in the first series. You know, uh, we talk about what, what they say money is. Uh, back back in the day, what we did was barter. We bartered and traded. You know, if you had a cow, you know, maybe I had some chickens, you know, or maybe I had some eggs and you had some lettuce. And, you know, say, well, how many eggs to lettuce, okay? Well, give me a dozen uh, eggs and I give you uh, two hedges of lettuce. You know, and that's how the trade was made. Now, uh, you know, as I as as we continue to explore this, uh, we'll know uh, more about money. I can't give you all the information right now, but I'm here to tell you, uh, for the love of money series, uh, it's here uh, to to help you advance your your knowledge of your mind about money. I hope you was blessed. Uh, this is DLS Jr. Uh, this is the first. Uh, episode uh, for the love of money. I hope it was insightful. I hope that uh, you able to take away uh, what God will have you take away uh, from this. Uh, you be blessed. Be without the stress. And guess what? God have a plan for you. Plan to prosper you. Plan to keep you in good health. Uh, you be blessed. And y'all have the blessed uh, rest of your day. There is Junior. For the love of money, series one.